Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chef and Wahami, or Six Days of Ham's Giving. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be making one of my favorites, cornbread. I kind of tweaked this recipe over the years, so it got better and better and better, and people just really love this and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to name the ingredients from start to finish in the order that you're going to mix them in. So first is butter. I used the country crock original flavor butter like I told you guys yesterday um, another ingredient you're gonna need after that is sugar you would then mix the butter and the sugar together you're also gonna need nutmeg three eggs vanilla creamer no vanilla extract I'm sorry French vanilla creamer this never lose when you're baking. This right here is butter extract, best flavor enhancer ever, or at least a smell. And lastly, you're gonna add the Jiffy muffins. We're doing three boxes, and we're gonna bake, be baking in one of these. We're gonna be baking in one of these. I'm almost sure everybody has one of these, but if you don't, seven dollars at Walmart. It really does make a difference. Um, and lastly, milk. So some people have carnation milk, some people have whole milk, some people have 1%, this is 2%, and some people have skim or almond milk. Almond milk I prefer because it has a good flavor to it, but um, you can use any kind of milk you want, just make sure you put in the right quantity, especially with the creamer. Anyway, without further ado, let's get baking. So first you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, you wanna put about a cup and a half of butter in your baking pan. That will be, a cup is approximately three sticks of butter. And obviously the half will be half of three. And next, if you prefer more butter, by the way, you can. The butter just really makes it soft and um, when you overly butter it, all you have is just extra butter on your fingers when you eat it or the taste of butter in your mouth, but it's really not that big of a deal to your health it is. Anyway, so next you're gonna add about, let's say about half a cup of tea, no, oh, Jesus. You're gonna add about half a cup of sugar because you're also adding the French vanilla creamer, which is also sweet. Next, you're gonna add your flavor enhancers. So about one teaspoon of nutmeg. And before we put the liquids in, we're gonna go ahead and mix this. Once it's mixed, we get ready for everything else. Once it is mixed totally, you can go ahead and add the regular vanilla, about a teaspoon. Do about half a teaspoon of the butter extract, simply because the flavor is stronger or the smell. That's not a teaspoon. There we go. Next, you're gonna go ahead and add Three eggs, next you're going to go ahead and add three eggs and that's one for each box of muffins. And mix. If you put in an extra egg, I don't think anything would be wrong with it you will more than likely just end up having it a lot more, I guess, soft or, I don't wanna say creamy, but eggs do give it like a little slippery feel to it if you add too much in your mouth, that is. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the muffins. And you want to add about 
a cup of that creamer to that. Once you go ahead and see how much liquid is in there, then you add some milk. The milk cooks the cornbread or the corn and the batter. Well, when the cornbread is done mixing, you want, to go, you want it about this watery or runny, I guess. And butter up a pan and you're ready to bake. Lastly, you just want to butter up a pan. And add batter. All right, you pop this bad boy into the oven. In about 45 minutes on 350 degrees, you should have a perfectly baked cornbread, brown on top, brown on the bottom, and the toothpick test, just stick the toothpick down the middle. If it comes out dry, it means it's ready to go.